All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sambo, he does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, this is truly an eight-point striker, DC, a Muay Thai practitioner making the walk to the octagon yet again here tonight. I love the way he stands high on his toes whenever he's approaching. The hands are high, not always closed. They're just up and high. He's bouncing on that back foot, and everything he throws has no load up. The outside leg kick is truly something special. He will brutalize you with the leg kick in the moment you start to switch your stance. He will go across to the opposite side to beat that leg up. Then you get desperate. You start trying to grab him. That's when you start to run into the knees. You start to run into the elbows. He's just the most brutal guy that we've seen in the UFC for a long time. And at last check, there are no gloves or any padding on the feet or the knees. Nothing so, to protect you. Caution, flammable. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions. Here is Bruce This Bar. is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 35 wins, 17 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Anthony Lionheart Smith. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 29 wins, nine losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, John Blakowicz! All right, great to be losing the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, back your start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful leg kick. Throw. So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Man, he's just. Wow. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Boom. Big jab. Real sneaky body kick. 
just out of range with the straight left hand. Big call punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Boaho. Ooh, blocks the shot. And that left hook landed on the button. Big shot to the head. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Blahovich. He missed with that jab attempt there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Flips to avoid the right. Big kick lands. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Anthony Smith. Landed that left hook. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Punch over the top. Misses with the right hand. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Wow, huge head kick. Oh! Just over two minutes to go. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Blahovich. Got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Liver kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Blahovich. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Nice punch lands. Under a minute now to go. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Going orthodox now. Straight right, he misses. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, what a punch. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one. Ones that even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Back and forth we go here! Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Round two straight ahead. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Okay, you ready, round two, right? All right, round two. Punches block. And he 
lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, yeah, right here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch land. Boom. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. So unofficially, 63 total strikes have already landed for Jan Wachowicz. And in terms of the accuracy rate, 41% tonight against Anthony Lionheart Smith. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, big right hook, but a whip. Just a slip there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Big head kick lands. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this move. We'll finish this Oh, he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Back and forth we go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Slips the punch. You can't take many of those, you better check. He blocks the punch. Head kick. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Wahovic gets caught with that punch. Beautiful body kick. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Less than a minute now to go in round two. Nice loop and punch. Wahovic gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. It looks like speed No, 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 no. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, 
nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready? You ready? Let's Third round ahead. underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Wahovic gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. Just missed with the left there. How about that shin? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice right hand. That's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Well, as we call on the fight stats here, DC, 118 total strikes have already landed for Jan Bohovic. And landing with 37% accuracy thus far tonight against Anthony Lionheart Smith. Nice sneaky head kick. That's a big strike right there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Blocks the shot. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. That's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Ooh, what a punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, straight right. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. Watch the ability to land from anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Fight here. Checks the leg kick. He's looking to land the right just out of range. You 
can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Blahovich gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with Dylan and Tim. Wow! Blahovich going for the head kick. No dice. Final seconds here. Oh! Oh, he might be out. What a round. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fight. Punches. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Right there by Blahovich. Oh! Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right... Oh! He's out! He got him! What a performance! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw him. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 28 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jan Bergliata! Alright, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.